We are living the golden era for web and mobile apps. Every day we see big companies taking advantage of that. But how can a small business get into the apps world? That's where no code comes into play. Hi everyone, my name is Guilherme Meira and welcome to Maker's channel. Here we're going to talk about the no code and how to build your app without writing code. But what is no code? No code is a way to build apps without writing code. You basically use visual tools to build the design, the database and the workflows of your app. It's like drag and drop things or using the English language to give instructions to your computer instead of using programming languages. But instead of just talking, I want to show you how fast and how easy it is to build something with no code. So let's go to the screen. So to build our app with no code, we're gonna use Bubble. Bubble is a platform where you can build apps without writing code. It is mainly for uh, web apps, but you can also build um, mobile apps or you can build responsive web applications, okay? So, we're gonna build a to-do list app just to show you how easy and how fast it is. So here we have the dashboard. We have all the tabs with all the tools we need to build it. So we have the design tab, the workflow, the data, the styles, plugins, settings, and logs. So here on design is where you're gonna build the design of your app. So we have visual elements, we have containers, we have input forms. All you need to uh, show information to the user or get information uh, from the user. Here in workflow is where you're gonna have access and build all the workflow for your app. In data, we have our database. So we have the types and the fields. We have the privacy, the app data, all you need to manage your database. And styles is where you can build uh, themes uh, to buttons or groups or repeating groups on plugins is where you can uh, manage all your plugins or add plugins to add features to your app in settings you have all the settings of your app um, not just of your app but uh, from bubbles okay and the logs is where you can see the usage of your app. Here is an app that I use just to, to pry things and to cheat things. So you're gonna create here a new page. So add a new page. The name is gonna be to do list. And now we can come here to data because we need to uh, create the type, uh, the test type. Okay, so uh, the type is going to be test. Hit create. Now we need the fields. First field is going to be title, and it's going to be a text field. And we can add a date field with a date type where the user can give a date to this test uh, be done and it can relate uh, tables okay using like uh, you can create a new field it's gonna be user and here in, on the field type you can choose user has the type for this field so now every, every task has a user that's gonna be uh, like the owner of the task. So we can come back here to the design tab and uh, we can add a test element here just to, let me adjust here, just to give a title for this page. So to, to list we can change the style to um, a2 okay. um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change nothing 
from the style all that we all we have here is uh, the default style from bubble so now we get uh, we need an input to the user uh, add the desk so we can change here the placeholder to task title now we need a button to uh, add the workflow okay so let's add maybe just a little bit so now we have an input where the user is gonna type the task title and we have button to add task we need to add another uh, input field here where the user is gonna uh, give us date so we have a special input form here that is the date and time picker we can change this to date and time we just uh, okay so now we have a uh, place to the user give us the test title and the task date here we have a button to add to create uh, the task on the database so when we click here we can start and edit the workflow now we can click here and uh, come to data and create a new thing this type of thing is gonna be a task and we can add the fields first the title that we're gonna get from we're gonna take from the input test title that we just create and the date we're gonna get from the date picker and the user is gonna be the current user of the app okay so um, I think that's it we can come back here to design now we need a place to show the the tasks we have on the app so come over here uh, we choose a repeating group a repeating group is uh, an element to show a list of things so we have more than one uh, task okay we can create more than one task so we need a place to add more than one so we have a list of tasks so we need to build our repeating group we can double click and we need to give a content that is going to be task and where the app is going to take these tasks so data source do a search for um, task okay so now we have a list of tasks we can uh, add now here uh, test okay. and use uh, a dynamic data that's gonna be current cell task title I just change the style a little bit mm. too big um, I think that's okay so control C control V now uh, we can add instead of title we can change to date and we can uh, let's now just see how how we are going so hit review to see our app let's wait to load uh, let's I don't know buy food it's gonna um, tomorrow at noon at as you can see we just created uh, a new task we need just to add a workflow here on the button to reset all the inputs so we can come back here come back to the workflow 
and after we create a new task we can click here and bubble uh, already recommend us uh, the next action so we can hit here um, we set relevant inputs so every time we create a new task bubbles is gonna uh, reset all the inputs we can make a little things a little change here just to make this a little bit um, better we can add an icon here change type to fresh add a trash can to um, create a delete workflow change just the color so every time someone uh, clicks on this trash icon we want uh, the app to delete this current sales task okay so now we can come back here to our app hit refresh, refresh and so if you click here we're gonna delete this task okay we can create another one uh, by food again and tomorrow at 3 p.m add as you can see uh we just create a new task and the inputs were uh reset we can um, we can add one more thing here on data. We can uh, add a done field to the task. It's gonna be a yes or no. And let me just adjust a little bit here. We can add another icon. And it's gonna be. Uh, choose I go here um, let's choose a little bit something a little bit different a lemon so every time we click on this lemon we want to change the uh, task to done or to undone okay so conditional when current task is done yes we can change the color to uh, green okay so now we need to add a workflow every time we click on the lemon icon we want to make a change to the thing the thing we want to change is the current sales task and the field we want to change is the done okay Going to change to yes so we need to give a uh, condition here it's only going to happen when the task done is no and can control c control v every time the task done is yes we want to change to no let's come back here uh, Hit refresh. I see what we just done. Uh, so when we click here on the lemon, we change this test to done, and if we click again, it's undone. Okay. So basically, uh, this is um, a very, very, very basic app that you can build. That's going to be just a feature, a feature to a bigger app to create tasks to see if the task is done or if it's not done. You can relate it to a calendar or you can send uh, emails or um, messages to the user that uh, to remind him of uh, do this task. Okay, so this is just to show you how easy, how fast it is to do something with no code. So guys, that's it for today. As you can see, it's very easy and very fast to do something using no code, especially in Bubble. So 
if you have an idea for an app or if you have a business and you want to build something to help it to grow or to sell more or to control the numbers of your company you can do it in one or two weeks okay if you like the video please give a thumbs up okay if you want to know more about no code or how to build your own app without writing code please subscribe to the channel so see you in the next video